Hi, I am Dr. Tingle Storm, but you can call me Stormy. And today I will be cleaning your teeth. So before we get started, just a couple questions to put you at ease and hopefully um, get you ready for the cleaning. So I need to a little more information about you. When was the last time that you got a dental cleaning? Okay. Do you drink a lot of coffee? Okay. How many coffees a day? Do you drink it with a straw? Just Do you smoke? Do you drink any alcohol? How about wine consumption? Okay. Do you eat a lot of chocolate? Do you have a, a history of Cavity, being prone to cavity in your family. Any dental issues in general? Do you use a manual or an electric toothbrush? Do you floss regularly? I know, I know it's it's tricky. Have I gotten your teeth bleached before? Okay. So when was the last time you got a dental cleaning? Alrighty. Can you confirm your age, please? Do you experience any teeth sensitivity? Any issues you need to report before we get started? Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, thank you for having had the patience to answer all my questions. So before we get started, I just want to have a look inside of your mouth. I know that I have my light there, but I'm also going to use this light to see even more clearly. And I have this little pick right here that I am going to gently um, hook to your teeth. And it's not going to be painful at all. You're not going to perceive that. But that will help me understand if you have a cavity or not. If the pick stays hooked, if the beak stays hooked, it means that you have a cavity. Otherwise, we're golden. Oh, okay. This is as much pressure as you're gonna feel. Can you handle it? Awesome.
That's very good. So, um, I don't see any cavities and everything is looking fine in your mouth. So, we're just gonna go with it. A nice and thorough cleaning, yes? And if you want the teeth bleaching, I can do that for you as well, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take it one step at a time, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna ask you to open your mouth. I'm gonna hook this little thingy just right here so that it can soak up the excess saliva that you will produce during this experience, okay? So no need to worry about anything, yeah? Alright, I'm just applying, I'm just hanging it here. Good. And then I'm grabbing my tool. So keeping my dental floss on handy because I always like to double check with that. Okay, and we're gonna get started. Okay, if you feel any discomfort whatsoever, you just raise your hand and we stop immediately. Okay, <laughs> okay, good. I'm just gonna start it here. Just stay relaxed, okay? Like you're gently smiling with your mouth not completely wide open so that I can better read, reach your wisdom tooth, okay? Alright. There we go. Perfect. Is everything okay so far? This is the kind of pressure that you're gonna feel throughout the treatment. Mm -hmm. before we move on to the rest of the teeth arch so I can check and see if there is any stubborn or leftover Thank you. 
please just ever so slightly tilt your head back. Thank you. There we go. that you take great care of your teeth. Yeah. That's great. It makes my job much easier. And it's also much better for your health, isn't it? For your wallet, because when people don't take care of their teeth, then they get cavities, infections, and they're pretty expensive to treat, so a nice, good, regular maintenance is best. <laughs> so it's time to double check again with the floss. Good. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Great. So we can proceed. With the last molars and wisdom tooth. So I ask you to once again stay nice, soft, relaxed with a gentle smile. <laughs> okay. Did you know that by just smiling, you change the chemical? balance in your brain and you instantly, I mean, not instantly, but like you feel happy somehow like if you're feeling really, really bad and you want to cry and stuff, you make a smile and just stay smiling for a while it doesn't need to be a super bright smile just a slightly little bit our neurological system doesn't really recognize the difference between a heartfelt smile and a mechanical smile so somehow the neurological process that makes the endorphins flow through the synapses is just going to make you feel happier I have to say that I tried it myself and initially I was like, no, it's not working but after a while it actually worked so I hope that by just making this little smile right now with me you're actually tricking your neurological system and feeling happier and feeling better not that you had to feel bad before of course but if you can be even happier why not right okay <laughs> good all right i'm gonna once again, do my floss check. Do, 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 
that then turn out to be the bacteria but not today, not for you Proud of you for taking such great care of your teeth. Okay, let me floss. <laughs> okay. 
to really Good. Now I'm going to remove the saliva. 
have a vacuum thing. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I want you to try to clench your teeth and see if you feel any mm, grainy sensation, like you have some sand in your mouth. Okay, good. So about the teeth bleaching, okay. That would, of course, include applying a chemical solution, yes, and then having the light do the rest of the work. This treatment um, does bleach the teeth one or two levels and lasts about six months. Okay, so you get an immediate result, but it's not like the best result. What I consider, in my opinion, to be the best result and best option for you today as we just had a lot of action going on in your mouth and your gums and we don't want to add any extra stress would be to make the domestic teeth cleaning. So today I will take a mold of your mouth and then I will custom make some trays that you can bring home and with those trays, there will be a specific solution that you apply in each one of the teeth, yes. And you leave it on overnight. You sleep in that, you wake up in the morning, rinse it off, wait at least 30 minutes before eating anything, especially if it's stuff that stains the teeth. I would recommend, recommend using a straw uh, for coffee during the entire process like because this is something you have to repeat for 20 days straight if your teeth initially feel uh, uh, very sensitive when doing the treatment you can do every other day until you build up more resistance and get used to the treatment okay and of course if the there happen, there might happen to feel any particular pain or discomfort, you stop the treatment, call me immediately, and we have a look at how your feels, your teeth feel, okay? But to me, that would be the best option, not to mention that it does bleach uh, more potently, and the effects last uh, up to three years if you have good maintenance. All right, so we're gonna do that. I totally agree with you. So today we don't aggress the teeth and the gums anymore with any uh, chemicals. Okay, so taking the mold here. Okay. So I am gonna push it a little bit in depth in your mouth. Some people felt a little bit of nausea when experienced this experiencing this. I personally never did, so it's very personal, but if you do feel anything, just do let me know. It's gonna be quick, okay? All right, open wide. Okay, like this. Okay. And now clench tight. days to be ready of course because it has to be custom made specifically for you but that's the absolute best option i'm gonna now rinse your mouth again open up okay. there 
Here we go. All right. So I'm going to contact you as soon as the teeth um, trays are ready. Okay. In the meantime, thank you so much for allowing me to clean your teeth today. It's been a big, great pleasure. I hope you feel nice and relaxed now. You have such a beautiful, bright smile already. And I can't wait to see the final result after the bleaching process is 